What's going on boys? My name is Sid and today I'm going to take the time to look at something that I haven't looked at just yet from this update. They recently fixed and changed the entire touring and Alpha Grand Prix specs out of nowhere, frankly. Uh, actually, no, that's a lie. No, they've been doing this for a while, actually. That was, what do I mean out of nowhere? I just did, that was just an incorrect statement. <laughs> but, tell you what, they've done it ten times better than what you may know they changed. The Rallycross spec a while ago. Rallycross, they went through the whole spec and updated, well, there's the issue. They didn't go through the whole spec. They went through most of the spec, the newer cars in the spec, and revamped the handling on the older cars. Uh, as in, how do I describe this? On the newly added cars. Some of them were old cars, but the newer added cars had... I'm... Let me restart this whole sentence. <laughs> on Rallycross, they went through all of the Rallycross spec and picked out only the cars that weren't newer cars, the older cars that were already in the game. Those cars, they went through and changed the handling for. But here's the thing, they didn't really make the handling the same as the new cars. They just, I think, like slightly improved it, slightly altered it. There was definitely alterations. The new handling, definitely better. But it ended up having a zero net effect on the Rallycross spec. The Lancia is still... The, sorry, not the Lancia, the Lancer. Not the, not the Lancia, the Lancer. God, what is going- why can't I speak today? The Lancer is still the best in Rallycross. The Escalade is still the joint best in Rallycross. Cars are the exact same when it comes to ranking and leaderboard. There hasn't been a single alteration to the Rallycross spec in the grand scheme of things. Mostly because they didn't unify, they didn't match up all of the handling in Rallycross. They just bumped up some of the old ones. I like the attempt. The attempt was appreciated. Absolutely. It was something I complained about. The rally cross handling that then ended up getting fixed because of course there was cars that were unusable. But here's the issue. Those unusable cars, they're still pretty goddamn unusable. No, they absolutely are. And these cars now, in touring at Alpha Grand Prix, they have changed the whole spec. And I mean every single car in the spec so that even this car, the Renault RS01, the old best car in touring car, is now nowhere to be seen at the top because it's also had its handling updated. Original touring was way too kind of slidey and sluggish, but new touring, stuff like the guy, well, I mean, the Gallardo isn't new, but like the RS01, was basically just a street car? No, that's it. No, it was just a street car, basically. But now, you may remember we got the CCGT in touring and that had its own whole handling model. That's what this is. That's what these cars are. These have their own brand new touring model, which is the one that was on the CCGT. And it's on every car, you can see. They basically refuse to spin out. That's what it is. It's that like really slow turn in but then, you know, like a really balanced turning. Like actually having traction in a touring car. And they feel really nice to use now. They feel so, so nice. And today we're going to be going through uh, what is even the best one to use. Because I believe a lot of people don't even know that. Because it isn't the RS01 anymore. No, no, no. Not at all, frankly. Let me try a more miscellaneous one. Uh, one that no one would really drive or not. Ooh, one that I have a lot of experience with is this car. This car right here. For some reason, I went through a phase of driving that thing. I think we had to use it in a summit, and I was like, you know what? I enjoy casually driving this. So this car. Let's whack some parts on it, and then let's drive this car. This is really old touring handling. So, okay. Oh, whoa, that's not good. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. That might have just been because it was launch. Here we go. And... Yep, the exact same actually usable, actually drivable handling model. Oh, this is so much more satisfying. You are. Ah, you actually have to brake for turns. You actually have to slow down. You actually have to think about the turns you're taking. God, I love this. I love it. Cars that were so unusable before, but looked really cool, frankly. Like this thing from the back, I really like it. They were, they were untouchable because there'd be no point in using them. 
Because if you use them, you'd just be putting yourself at a disadvantage. Okay, it still goes wide. It's still a bad car. You'd still be at a disadvantage. But not on this new level playing field, especially not with Slipstream. No, not at all. Oh my god, we've actually got usable cars. Okay, what about a Summit car? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We'll check like an old Summit car. This thing, I remember being very slidey. So here we go. Let's try out this thing now. Oh. Whoa, this thing really turns with its front. Whoa, okay. Okay, I think this thing wants to body roll. Which it did before as well, but... It now actually... Yep. Oh my god, they're so stable. Oh, they're so stable. Unfortunately, no comparison. No direct comparison this time around because I just... I didn't end up getting before footage, unfortunately. So, if I had some before footage, then I could line it up, but no. Instead, we'll try out what are claiming to be the best touring cars in the spec. The two best touring cars in the spec. We'll try those out in the new events. And let me know what you think of the new touring handling. Do you like that they're changing stuff like this? Genuinely, head down there in the comments and let me know. Obviously, the video does better if you comment, but like also, I genuinely am kind of curious what you boys think of the new handling, because God, it's so nice that cars like this are usable now. Yes, 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 yes. And from there, let's go to, ah, oh, we got the new car. Oh, these cars are so cool. Okay, one more, su one more older car in the game, and then I'm gonna hop in one of these new best vehicles in touring, and then drive that in an event. Okay. When you're low speed, they turn in very quickly. But it seems like there's two types. There's definitely the sluggish types. And then there's the real CCGT ones that, like, straight just... Okay, wait, no. It's more so just about being at speed. So if I really slow down... Yeah, it kind of turns with the front. I mean, I know all cars turn with the front technically. But I mean, like, the vibe of the turn, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, you, get, you probably get what I mean. And if you don't... Whatever. <laughs> Up like the raw edition, this thing, an absolutely terrible touring car originally, actually feels drivable. It's like, sure, they're still going to be terrible touring cars, but they all feel usable now. They all feel like I can actually, actually have a chance at all, at least, in cars like these. Yes, 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 yes. And now let's go into, we'll go into the normal one with one of them. And then we'll, oh no, we've got two normal ones that we haven't played. So yeah, we'll go one each. We'll go one each. Uh, let's go Las Vegas. And so there's one that people are saying is like the best at speed and ones that, you know what? I'll do some proper research, like actually ask around to the real pro players, the people using all these cars. Which ones they think are the actual, like, definitive, definitive best. But, in the meantime, the two best touring cars are the, well, the first one is the Ferrari FXXK. Here we go. So, if what people say is to be believed, this is one of the best. Now, as far as I'm aware, people say this is, like, the second best. Because some people say it is the best. But... Most people say that the other one is the actual, like, best best. It's pretty rapid already. Okay. Oh. Oh, this handling. Oh, it's satisfying. I understand it, though. You actually have to break for the... Oh, I love this handling. Oh, my God. You actually have to break and think and, like, oh, my God. Oh, yes. It's not just, like, driving a... Okay. It's not just, like, driving a street car on a touring track, which the RSO one was. It's not, like driving just a boat which any like older car in the game was i can okay it definitely understeers a little when you start doing the the multiple sharper turns and i definitely have to get the hang of it it feels it's not the same kind of uh unstable as the rso1 but you know when you've got this much power i imagine yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of instability i think i can't you know, the, the Kuntash is the best in street, and that's one of the most, like, twitchy cars imaginable. So, like, yeah. Clearly, a bit of instability comes with just being the top of a spec. But... Ooh, okay. This thing, I, I quite like it. And you can see, I'm already 50% done. This thing is rapid. God, I'm really curious then. Something is going to be this good, if not better? And it's quite nice that the FXXK is the best in the spec. If you didn't know, the FXXK was the first ever added car to the game, I want to say. I want to say we got the FXXK and the KTM Expo. The FXX KTM Expo, if you will. But yeah, no, we got this was this was the this was the first car ever added to the game because it was the first like the season pass used to give you two cars every month or at least it did for the first year and this was the first set of two cars. 
I remember logging on and being like, wait, why do I own an extra car? And then checking again, and I was like, oh my god, I own two extra cars. And then showing Josh and being like, look, two extra cars, where do they come from? And then I was like, oh my god, season pass cars, crazy. And it was a week early and everything, crazy, the crew too, crazy. The thing is really, really nice still, damn. Definitely takes some uh, throttle, ma okay, it definitely takes some throttle managing on some of the turns. On some of the turns, you really gotta sit there and be like, ah, that, uh, ah, I don't know, I'm not gonna be, uh, how do I even describe this? You go wide. You will go... Okay, I wasn't looking there. You will go wide on some turns. Like, absolutely. Especially with how it is. You really do gotta break. You actually have to break, and you actually have to throttle manage. You can't just go full throttle out of every turn, especially if it's a turn and then a turn. No shot. But, now that that's one done, let's go on to the other best touring car. And that, the other best touring car... No, oh, right, there's a finishing cutscene. I forget. The other... Best touring car is the Celine S7R, weirdly. Of all touring cars, right? Of all the touring cars to be the best. The Celine S... Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing... Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. This thing turns? Uh, but yeah, of all the... Oh my god, it's... Why does it turn so quick? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's like it's immune to the new... Whoa, okay. It's got no, like, initial slow turn in. What? Like the Ferrari you kind of have to fight with to get it to turn in straight away? This thing not at all. Whoa! This thing will just turn straight away. I barely even feel like I need to brake. Why is it so rapid? <laughs> of all the touring cars, the Celine S7R, right? Like a car that's been in the game since the start. A touring version of a hypercar that's in the game. Just... A Celine, right? Like, like what? Uh, just the brand Celine, sure. Not exactly the most notable brand ever. And just this thing ends up being the best touring car in the spec. It's kind of funny, actually, frankly. It's kind of funny. Let's nail this bit again. Insane. Like, insane. Like, I did that, like, so easily because it's so responsive. What? If you didn't know, this is my first time, like, properly trying out these uh, cars. I genuinely, I've been avoiding it. I think I had to do, like, one Summit event. But other than that, I've been avoiding touching these cars till this video. By the way, if you haven't already, head down there, subscribe with notifications on. It'd be very much appreciated. And honestly, after this one, I do so much content on the Crew 2 that something else is going to be in your recommended. And just check out that video, right, after this one. And let's get this last lap done and really pace it. In fact, let's go sweat camera angle as well. Which, if you didn't know, the benefits people always ask, oh, why do you use this camera angle? Uh, the benefits, the pros and cons are... That okay? Oh my god! Right? Okay. I'm uh, clearly I'm worse with it. Uh, no, but this thing is just rapid. Is the issue? Uh, you can see the exact angle your car is turning at. You can see the road much clearer. You can see the exact like width of your car, so you can get much much closer to a wall safer. And yeah, that's the pros. You know, like clearly a lot of pros are using this uh, camera angle, and that's why a lot of pros use this camera angle. That was pretty good, actually. I'm quite proud of that one. Uh, yeah, head down there, subscribe with notifications on. Now you know what the new best touring cars are. Now you know that they've updated the whole specs handling. And head on into the game and give a try to this new handling model. It's insanely, insanely cool. Uh, thanks to popular members, a special thanks to famous members, and an insane, insane thank you to star members Danimal the Manimal, TK Troller, and Grim Pepper. To head down there, click the join button, become a member. It's one of the main ways I'm able to do this as much as I do. It's about it from me in a bit.